Hey, what's going on? It's Sean Solo 8 and today I'll be adding another clone to my collection. Today we've got Clone Commander Gree. Finally, after a very, very long wait, probably four or five months I've waited to get my hands on this guy, but finally Hasbro re-released him. I picked him up off of Entertainment Earth and as you can see in the package, he looks pretty darn sweet. He looks absolutely awesome, man. Really, really stoked to be adding this to my collection. It looks like he comes with two guns and some binoculars on the side it is an exclusive because i guess it was a uh, gamestop exclusive at one point on the back Gree does come with a short little bio feel free to pause and read that it says clone commander Gree on the side of the package so thanks for checking out today's video and without further ado let's open up clone commander Gree and let's take a closer look boom clone commander Gree is out of the package absolutely amazing figure the paint apps on this guy are just off the hook really really enjoyed articulating them every piece goes exactly the way you want on this figure he does come with two guns this is his other gun that he comes with your typical blaster that comes with all the clones then he also comes with these really cool groovy binoculars that you see and they're not like darth mauls you can see a little shiny coat on the inside lots of paint on there and lots of mold on there so yeah that is pretty good we will stick that in his hand and we'll take a close look to see if there's anywhere we can actually store those things but let me throw Gree in another pose Gree holding his binoculars they don't quite go up to his helmet unless you give it a little bit of a force push on there let me know in the comments below if anybody's actually been able to bend his arm all the way back like that and get those binoculars on there but i love the details on this the belt i love this little white strap on his leg and the little backpack with the antenna he's definitely unique and different than all the other clones well let's get him off of here let's take another look at clone commander gree and here's gree with the rest of the clone army i am loving it man he looks great he's definitely a standout figure highly recommended you guys can actually still pick this up i believe i don't think he's sold out at entertainment earth big bad toy store those kind of places i think you can still pick him up but let me just move some of these clones to the side and we'll take a nice closer look at Gree close up you can check out all of these guys on my channel they're all up for reviews some of them are a lot older reviews so they're not the best I also really like how this rifle here actually has a different silver to it than the, than the rest of the clone's weapons. So uh, all the other weapons are black and this one is actually a light silver. So it looks pretty cool. You can see the difference on, on Bly back there. But yeah, it's definitely a lighter color. But Gree's pretty cool, man. I absolutely love that silver paint on his helmet. What do you guys think about that? And I love the green, the shiny green looks sweet too. And of course, you can see the silver paint inside his little breathing apparatus. I wonder if there's a name for that there, but yeah, the paint job on mine just looks super, super sweet. I love this little backpack thing on the back. Well, it's more like a communicator device, but yeah, ultimately this guy meets a horrible end uh, with master yoda in revenge of the sith at the very end but the belt looks super cool the front of the belts look the same on all of the clones these little suspenders here are all molded on the paint looks really good on mine there's some silver and definitely the legs are more camouflage so there's several types of green on here you can see the weathering on the shoulder pad looks really cool and of course, he holds his gun super well. The Black Series are just really, really great figures for openers and inbox collectors. But overall, yeah, this looks great. I really do like this. Looks like a little knife strap on his leg. And of course, that mold, you can see the little gap in there. That looks pretty cool. And then the boots are just shiny and a soft black. But overall, Clone Commander Gree looks cool. His head does pop down really good, just like Clone Commander Cody. And of course, oh, his head does pop off. So uh, we can definitely do that Yoda technique to him. One thing I don't like about these is how the mold pops around here. I wonder why they do that, because that's on a few of the clones, but not 
all of them. You can see the ball on the hinge back there. So yeah, there is a lot of articulation going on in there. These shoulder pads, mine already looks chipped up right there, which is a little bit of a bummer. And it looks like, yeah, they're gonna tuck into there. Ooh, mine just cut into that. So yeah, you definitely wanna be really careful when you're rotating these. So yes, there is a little bit of hindering going on there. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys have figured out a better way to bend those shoulders. There is a nice upper swivel cut in there. Double jointed elbow, so he does hold his pistol up pretty good. Awesome hinge. Of course, these clone troopers really need these hinges in the hands to get the better poses with the guns. He does rotate on the top, and he bends back pretty good and bends forward pretty good. He kicks up relatively decently, kicks back pretty good, does the splits okay. There is an upper swivel cut in both legs. He's got a double jointed knee. There is a rocker on the foot with a really nice hinge in there. Thanks for checking out today's video. Check out one of the videos you guys see up on the screen, and I'll see you guys in the next one.